Met up with Anna at the port, and she gave me this situation report. The caravan is heavily guarded, but if we can capture the captain, the rest will surrender. Whatever approach I take, the Spartans will back me up. I need to get to the tugboat's bridge. What's there? I know you're there! Looks like he's gone. We can stop looking.
Some can. That pass. What? We can all be fun assignments. This luck thing sure is a bitch. Nothing.
Why are we even... <laughs> If you play your cards right, you got me? Uh, yes, of course. Order your people to stand down and nobody gets hurt at once. Hey, listen up, people. This is your skipper. Stand down and surrender at once. You did the right thing. It's nice to talk to a smart guy for a change. Now go. <sighs> Great job, Atul. Luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man your stations. Way anchor. We're gonna go about halfway there. Then... Artyomich, Duke, we're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, believe. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. Sure! Catch the line! Ready! Hey, sailor! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> oh, you're so funny! Jackass, man. So, Artyom, shall we move? Man? Whoever gets there first we wins. Break a leg. Rip the whole side apart. Have to run the barge ashore. The Aurora is quietly moving into position. We'll be ready to act on your signal. Roger that, sir. We're on it. Over. Because they have a right. Just like Father Salandi has foretold. Who arrived? Satan slaves! It's like you missed the morning sermon. Well, I didn't. One day you are going to get sent to fight demons for that. But it's so early. Just tell me what he said. Oh, all right. Uh, a heretic actually arrived right at the ceremony. Our guys rushed over to save the Holy Father. And the heretic killed most of them. They say he wouldn't touch you if you surrendered, though. He also didn't harm the unarmed folk that just happened to be there. He hasn't lost the last of his humanity, that heretic. Not to mention that Khadia and her witch spawn escaped in all the confusion. There's a rumor that people saw her with the heretics. So you think they might attack? Ugh, who knows? They are heretics. May the Zarfish devour them. Yeah, they only have murder on their minds for something.
You see, this sign means back. Back? But he and Kirill vowed to eradicate all the demons. You don't just come back after that. Well, ask anyone. They got captured by heathens, but a heretic, one of the new ones, freed them. Old Simon just got cold feet, that's all. All the stories people tell not to go. No, he did not. He came back and with a huge fuss of search and got his way too. Now he will be praying for a heretic instead of Simon. You got that? Oh God, for a heretic? <coughs> it will please God though. That's Simon. What next? Then he just made the sign of the cross, kissed the altar and went back. To the demons. Yes. What are the He thought he was going to do the prey. Father Selectius himself wiped his slate clean. Oh, yes, not everyone is created the same. <sighs> Don't you worry so much. Well, I just can't. The four eyes didn't come back. God save his soul. And he didn't even want to fight a demon. Well, you know what? Now you don't even know what's worse. It's been a month since anybody returned from you know, a trip to I the house of the fish. What <laughs> you know to it's worse to see people return from demon killing trips? They just want to get to the other side. Well, how about I come with you? We're doing and what's nice show. over there on the other side. Don't even think hey, about it. Brother, I'll handle this myself. looking for a better life. Well, just Which is where I might. Where? All right. Where we are not. Why is that? We are the just ones. We have Father Salentius. It's not what I meant. Boy, you are dumb. Well, explain it better. Why is it that you have to do it? So, standing here to guard it, while the heretics are already in our cloister. I shall have to drive them out. Where? Well, all fates are in God's hand. Look around. Your eyes are young. And shout if you see anything. Got that? Yes. What's not to get? But really, why is it so good for the heretics to live? Who likes it more? Shield us 
from the touch of evil and the breath of evil and from its temptation and save our souls the way you saved our lives to serve your will and confirm your power here on earth again just as you have confirmed it in heaven and give us strength to triumph over Satan's minions and punish us should we prove unworthy. You won't treat me with that, you heretic! Sure Come out now! I'll punish that heretic soon. Punish him for his insolence. Punish him justly. Curses! The heretic's not here. When did he manage to get away, I wonder? I'll ask him when I get him. I'm running after it already! We're believers, but we're not naive! I'll be sending one heretic to be judged pretty soon. Pretty soon. Curses! The heretic's not here. When did he manage to get away, I wonder? I'll ask him when I get him. Here, brothers! We only need to find him! Garbage, you filthy heretic dog! Come out and give yourself up now! The dirty dog is here! Hey! 
Stop throwing garbage and come out! What are you throwing, you vermin? Come out! I'll absolve you of your sins! Let's find the heretic, brothers! Let's get managed to escape! Covering you himself? No matter. He won't hide you from a holy warrior sight! The heretic's here! I see that there is that dog down there! I'm running after it already! We're believers, but we're not naive!
rained missile, and the cloud burned to ash, and the sea is boiled, and people turned into shadows. But our cloister survived, for the faithful reside here, and the Lord in his mercy and wisdom <laughs> has chosen one among them who goes by the name of Silantia. And so speaketh the Lord, I will be with you and will keep you safe, provided you are true in your devotion, <laughs> provided you reject satanic technology. We reject! And even more so, do you reject Satan's deception? That thing they call electric current. They cursed gift the enemy gave to the fools, so that they would fancy themselves above reproach, above God, and more powerful than him. We reject! Amen, my children! For the electric current is Satan's temptation and his poison. Only those who reject electricity will be allowed into the kingdom of God. Only those who remain unsullied by its corruption will be let through by the darkness. So let us not fear the heretics at our door. The ones who would attack our cluster. Even with their iron steeds standing before us, stinking of machine oil and shining its heretical light upon us, <laughs> we will not falter. Let us steel ourselves against them. For this is our hour of glory. Amen. 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 So let your hands slay the enemy's servants with no less harmless. For we carry out the will of our Lord. And it is his retribution and punishment for their sins that our enemies will receive. And all who stand before our gates shall scatter like dust in the wind. His will be done. His, his will, will be done. done. For he will devour them body and soul. For one can cleanse himself of gunpowder. But electricity puts an eternal brand upon the sinners. So let us call to the service. Come on! Let us not fear the heretics at our door. 
The ones who would attack our cluster. Even with their iron steeds standing before us. So you got me, damn heretics! You took Katya, and now you have me! Damn, you are quicker too! Look, we're just passing through. Let us be peacefully our guys won't shoot. We've been easy on you people the whole time, and Katya asked us to take her along herself. Do you get me? Sure thing. First you kill off the local cutthroats, and then you switch to us. Will you kill elders and children too? Or have you drunk enough blood already? Leave us for good now. May punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to tend my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers. Hold your fire. You hear me? I'll excommunicate everyone who shoots. Well, I did all I could. Just don't shoot. And tell the driver to keep it slow. The bridge is in shelter, so don't stop. Or the bridge might collapse. Our we'll Lord, jump here. If we reach an agreement, they will let us through if we don't shoot and move slowly. And don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over. Here you loud and clear. This way out. All hands, hold your fire and kill Porter. Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs>about how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified, since so far we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. You did a great job there. We are not home anymore, so we'd all better act like you did. Smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because. Because they are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry, I'm in a philosophical mood today.
Uncle Artyom, Uncle Artyom, Uncle Dokarev has already set his shop up. Wanna go look? It's so cool. Here, Uncle Artyom. Ah, hi, Artyom. See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. And what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. But it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know? Oh, Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore, and he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. <sighs> Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's it. I've bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The Colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none to expedient speed to fix it. Uncle Dokarev! Uncle Dokarev! <sighs> what would you like to ask, Nastya? Uncle Dokarev, do you have a sewing machine? No, I don't. But how are you going to fix the suits then? Well, like everyone else, I take a thread and a needle, and I use a sail stitch. Wow, cool! Can you teach me? I sure can, but later. I've got work to do. Will you let me fix Sam's rifle strap? Well, sure thing. Oh, but under supervision. Sam is so strict, you know. And Uncle Sam isn't strict at all. He's kind. <laughs> all right, look here. I'll show you once. Now we do this. I see. Don't rush it here. Yes. And now, this way. I see. Don't rush it here. Yes. A oh, smoke break. That's good. <sighs> oh, this is one mean smoke. This is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. <clears throat> well, you are the right kind of guys. You, the Colonel, Duke. That guy did a swell job on that bridge. And now he's bragging about it like a child. He's a child, really. No, a child. But he's good. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. You you people accepted me, and, and I... Uh, I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay the debt back, okay? So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? Sure thing. So much space. It feels too empty to me, though. Just reeds and ruins and those damn mutants. Hey, the Artyom, come on in and have a seat. 
Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Thank you, Stepan. I'm sorry to ask, Katya, but Nastya's father. He's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still kept it in. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. Sieni used to say it. So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. I'm sorry, Katya. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you how we ended up at the bridge. We used to live in northeast from here, quite close if you go in a straight line. But it took us a month. Everything's bombed to rubble out there. Yermak asked me and I told him. Sini used to say there are lots of military factories out there. Already. Not just military, of course. Hey, Artyom, well, the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. <laughs> so, what's up with your plate carrier? Tokarev was mad. Ah, uh, it's a long story. Come on, out with it. Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, <sighs> looking at Artyom, milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. <laughs> that he did, uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You asked me about the waste yourselves. All right, go on. So I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? How should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. Come here, Artyom. Listen, I had a talk with the Ark, and all thanks to Tokarev, he got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark. Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Yes, yes. Uh, hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? Uh, how do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that a checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, Emelico? Simply capital. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but as you know, the situation is dire and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Major, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the special forces have to 
bumper. A squad. Uh, I see. Well, this is great. Great. Yes, uh, we are a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading towards you from Sector K6 Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. Just a moment, I have to check. K6, uh, Alpha, you say? Uh, as far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters ever reported in the area, Colonel. Back in credit. I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is a great honor! Thank you! Just a few words more, though. Uh, what is the general situation there, Major? Please. Uh, Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information. Uh, but I do understand you. Uh, we are doing fine. Do not worry. Uh, well, see you in the arc. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? <laughs> I'm so excited, my hands are still shaking! The Minister himself! This is incredible! By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. As you can see, we are heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Kress tell me that the line there is in decent condition. Surprising, really, taking into account the number of priority targets there. So, we can hope for a smooth sailing from here, and right to the very destination. It's not even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. So, I think it's going to take us quite some time to get there. So, Yermak, where were we? You were saying, it's all about the results. Ah, yes. These soft-bellied attitudes must stop. object. But not all ends can be called just. Exactly. And this is why, why I have been waiting for a chance like this for ages. And now everything seems to be coming together. It's the government. Don't you understand? Oh, but of course. Hmm. You don't seem to quite grasp the importance, which is unexpected. Especially after the news you just heard. <clears throat> yes, well, say there is a government. So what? We spent so many years apart, so why worry now? Ah, but don't you see? They probably knew nothing about us. With the sheer power of enemy strikes directed at Moscow, they never expected so many of us to survive. And now, now we... We get to... get to tell them Moscow still lives! And not only that, it also preserved a functioning civilization! Do you get that? All these years we were fighting a losing battle for mere survival! And now... and now we have a new goal! And what would that goal be? You don't get this, do you? The command center should have all of the command and control networks, all the intelligence. They should know where all the nukes hit, have complete fallout maps. They have everything. Information rules the world. And Metro is chock full of people. Put two and two together, we could repopulate the country. And of course not at once. First, we might have to take the country back. But we'll be doing this under the direction of a real government. People with all the necessary skills. And in the end, we will break out of the underground dead end we are in. Uh, it would be nice, sure. By the way, I meant to ask for some time now. How did you learn about the Yamantau bunker, Colonel? Oh, the information about the ARC project I have is beyond a doubt. I'm saying this as a group officer. 
I have colleagues working there, preparing evacuation plans. So I've been briefed into it officially. So, now we just have to get there. And we will. We will. The journey won't be easy, though. <laughs> we were never looking for an easy way. Yes. I've been thinking about that for a long time. The Central Industrial District, a priority target. Katya did confirm my suspicions. The tracks might have survived partially, but the state they're in now is most likely terrible. I think we'll have to fix sections of the track. I think our people can handle it. Besides, I'm sure there will be side tracks. What do you think could have happened in the relatively intact territories in the meantime? That's a good question. We are approaching the Yamantau Bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the Metro. Charge while I'm away. Go! 
Now we shouldn't have come here, really. Okay, so where's my welcoming committee and red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see, nobody home. How about we go back, huh? Wait, look. Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. 
I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense now! <coughs> Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down. We'll get jaundice like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of Untie hers. my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them! Watch your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I don't get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! But I'll get you right! Long Burn time! A long time since we got back! Now we'll be full again! Good. Well done! We can hold up for 
lift is the same exactly. True, and quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Let's go! Your floor, Artyom. Come on, Artyom! Stop wasting time!
Artyom, I knew! Behind you! There is always one like you! A hero! You're not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just... Please! Yes, the, the, Let the, him don't go! kill me! Now. Remember what I told you! There was an ex... Enough chatter! Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me.
this whole situation now. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that's Zelentius with his... Damn fanatics! But no, it appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. Down there. It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker now? I don't know, Anna. We have to make the decision <laughs> together. <laughs> Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time. It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't. But you can't do it forever. <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time of what is allotted to me.
think I believe those pricks from Hansa. I believe that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka. I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war, the government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <laughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. <coughs> if we gave access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Arjun, shall we look for that place you wanted? Sound the horn then. <laughs> Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know, but what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. in that village there. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. How are the men doing, Demir? 
Stepan is the worst off, but the others are not so well either. Oh, only us here are still in fighting shape. <sighs> Thank you. Ada, you and Amir reconnoitre the area. We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. Uh, I see. We'll need to address that too. Anna, Demir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. Sam, do. get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? It might, but really slowly and not for too long. The engine is too weak for the weight, and we, we don't have much diesel left. Well, if we had enough diesel, I wouldn't be needing any help. How so? Clear. Its firebox was originally designed for taking coal, but it also has high temperature lining and liquid fuel jets installed. Why didn't you say so before? Because you never rest! Is the injection system in working order? I would need to check it. Well, take Crest and run the checks. Oh yeah, we'll take care of it, Chick Chuck, no problem. But uh, that ain't giving us no diesel. Hmm. Judging how the locals drive around, it will be much easier to get our hands on diesel than coal around here. What about the water? Can't run without it, but our tanks are dry. Let's handle problems in the order of their appearance. is saving a ball today. Okay, set up the perimeter. You, get to the back of the train. Idiot, you get the engine. I'll clean the place up, then we'll bring Stepan. It's cooler than in the train. I've got something for you. Your word is law, my liege. Shall I commence now? <laughs> commence! Okay. Alyosha's trying too hard. Is he overheating? Too much sun, perhaps? We're all overheating here. I'll relieve him once we get step on here. Yeah, we'll handle that.
Stay coming here.
So, there's probably no chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so silent. Though, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. In my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should have them. Uh, I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. I have to stay and keep tabs on the area for a while, but once I'm done, I might join you there. See ya!
Good cable. Can't hack at all. Strong cable. It's too hard to hack. Who says they hack? They take it. 